Okay, we're back with our recipe book and we're working on page number five. So I'm just gonna move the book out of the way for the moment. And page number five is going to be a cookie jar that we will be able to open and pull out some more cookie recipes. So uh, again, I'm starting with an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. And I also grabbed um, a plastic bag. Now I did give you the pattern if you wanted to cut it, the piece that's uh, that I'm gonna use this for out of acetate or something, you can do that. The, the file is in there and available, um, but I didn't have any and I couldn't find my vellum, so I'm going with a plastic bag. Um, okay, so you have a bunch of pieces, and the first thing I wanna show you is you're going to have a piece that looks like this. I cut six of these out, and I glued a set of three together to make it nice and sturdy, and I'm just going to, um, there's two here, so I'm just gonna glue the third one down. I'm just gonna give a nice bit of glue here. And these are easy to get lined up. If you hold it by the corners, you know, you can get this to go right where it's supposed to go, perfectly line it up, and then press it down. Okay. So, now I have two sets with three layers of uh, black cardstock. And you're going to have a base piece that's uh, a solid. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue down my first set of three. And I'm going to give this a good amount of glue because I really want this to stick and be strong. I'm just going to center it inside of my bigger piece here. We're almost building like a shadow box per se for this. Okay, now I had the option of using say 20 sheets of cardstock, but I decided not to do that just because I came up with a new plan. So what I did was I cut some pieces of uh, black foam and I'm just gonna glue these. I cut them to fit inside the pieces here so you can do the same just kind of give it an eyeball it doesn't have to be perfect per se I'm just going to glue these in here and kind of put it in the middle there a little bit okay and I decided to go with two rows because I wanted it to be thick enough to hold all of my recipes that I want to put inside here so I'm going to give it a double thickness and I am giving it a good amount of glue there. Okay, I'm going to glue this one. Okay, glue second layer on top. All right. You're going to go around all four sides here with this. And again, I'm being kind of generous with the glue because you're not going to see this, but I do want it to be um, strong. So I am being generous with the glue. All right, one more side. Oops, I do not want to be that generous with the glue, so let me just get that off of there. Okay. Just gonna put that up there. One more piece. Okay, then what I wanna do is I'm gonna take my other set of three and I'm gonna glue it on top. So I'm just gonna put some glue on top of the top layer of my foam. Now this is gonna be definitely a page that I think we're gonna let sit and dry before we install it in our book. 
So I'm just going to get that glued down like that. Give it a good press. Depending on how fast this glue will dry, it is quick dry glue. So depending on what kind of glue you're using, we might be able to get this installed right away. I just want to make sure it doesn't come undone. Okay. All right, the next thing, I'm just going to put that aside for a minute. Next thing you have, or, um, you'll have three pieces that look like this. You have one that has a hole in it. You have a smaller piece, which I'm using as my decorative piece, that has a small, a small, a bigger hole. Um, but then you have one that has a little tab here. So what we want to do is between the piece that doesn't have the tab and the piece that does, that's where we're going to put our plastic. So my plastic bag is going to fit right about there. So I think what I'm going to do in order to make sure that this sticks well is I'm going to use my red tape here. So I'm just going to put some red score tape along the top here. And again, you can use whatever you want to um, to uh, make this clear piece. You could take it off of a box of cookies if you wanted to. Something like that is totally good. Um, all right, so I'm going to get the. Just want to put some down the side here too, because I want this to stay a little bit tight. I'm just going to go down the side. It doesn't matter if you go a little bit beyond where the plastic bag is going to go because we're going to glue these together anyway. I'm just going to cut that. One more side. I'm not going to do the last side yet because I want to see exactly how far down I need to do it. So I'm just going to cut this. Okay, so I'm going to pull the top one off. And let's get the bag on there. Um, first with just the top. If I can get this undone. That's what happens when I make my nails short. I can't get any of these things to peel. Okay, so I have my plastic bag and I'm just going to, I want to make sure that it doesn't reach out to the bottom so I know I have to go close to the top here. So I'm just going to get that laid down there like that. Okay, so now I can see about where I need my bottom tape, so I'm just going to grab my tape and kind of come up a little. And get that down. I just cut that. I forgot to bring my scissors in, so I'm using a little tip of a blade. Alright, so I'm just going to lift this up. And pull the red tape off. Okay. This side. And along the bottom here. Okay. So now I just want to lay this down nicely. All right. Now what I want to do is I'm going to glue this piece right on top. So I'm going to get, I want glue along my paper. And I think what I'm going to do is take my little, my last bit of red tape here. I'm just going to go along the top. I really don't have much left here, but I'm going to try and use it anyway. And again, depending on, you know, if you use vellum or anything like that, um, you know, you can use different types of adhesive, but because I'm using this plastic bag, I thought this might be my best option. Okay. So you're going to glue it with the tab, again, to your left. So I'm just going to line that up. Okay, 
So that's going to be the front of our cookie jar. And then with the decorative piece, I'm just going to glue that right on top. Okay, now back to our jar piece here. So now what I want to do is I'm going to fold this over and I'm going to give this some glue here. And I'm going to get this lined up. press that down. Okay. So, let's see. Just gonna hold that for a minute. And I think what I might do is I might cut another layer of this black and put it on top. So I'm gonna go do that. I'll be right back. Okay, so I went ahead and I cut another piece of black of the inner lining because I just want to make this a little stronger. I don't want to have any problems with my page coming off. So I'm just going to put a good amount of glue on here and get my last one on here like this. And again, it also not only will it make the uh, fold a little stronger, but it will also um, hide it. So multi-purposed. All right. Okay, so, so far so good. Now, um, you wanna be able to open up your cookie jar. So I have a button and I'm going to use some glue dots to get that on there. So we can treat it kind of like a knob. And you just wanna make sure you have a strong glue dot. I'm gonna put two on here, I think. And to do the glue dots, you just press against here like that get it on there and then give it a good press. Okay, almost done. So the other thing I included were uh, six, well I made six sets of cookies. These are similar to the cookies from the other page. So I put some of them together. I'm just gonna show you how to put one more together. This one is actually gonna be a little different because I did add the white paper to the back and a backing so that you could write a recipe for your favorite cookie on the back. Again, you could make different cookies to put in here, um, but I just thought this is this was how I was gonna do it. Um, now, the cookie design for uh, the chocolate chip cookie, one side you'll notice is a little bit, there's like a little, let me see if I can get this up there. It's a little bit flatter here. Uh, and that's where I've been looking to make sure that my cookie pieces are the same. So what you want to do is, because if you cut these and you, you're not sure where you're going, see how this is a little bit straighter right here? So I just want to make sure I have it the right side so that it lines up perfectly and this is the way I want it. So I'm going to put some glue on the back of here in between the holes. I don't want to go all the way out to the edge. I'm just going to kind of stay in the middle here, um, and I'm going to take the, my brown piece and stick that inside, and then I'm going to put a bunch of glue on here, like this, and now using that flat marker piece, you know, where I can tell that my cookie's the same, and get that lined up, and press it together. And then finally I'm going to add the white piece to the back. And of course you could, um, you know, print something and, and glue it on here if you wanted, however you wanted to do it. Okay. So basically what's going to happen now, so 
I'm going to, I think it actually has probably dried enough, but basically what's going to happen is our cookies are going to sit inside our shadow box like this. So that it will look like a cookie jar full of cookies. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab my book and I think we're okay to install. So let's see. Working on the inside page here. And I'm just going to get some glue. I'm gluing my background. Again, it's an 8.5 by 11. I think I said that already, but just a reminder. I really wanted to be able to use my 8.5 by 11 pattern paper, so I'm kind of excited about this. Okay, so with this cookie jar, I really want to give this a good amount of glue because it's heavy. And you want to make sure you use nice, strong glue. Okay. Oops, my cookie fell out of my cookie jar. All right, and I'm just going to really press that down for a minute. Give it a good rub. Want everything to stick well. Okay, so you can open your door with your button, have your cookie recipes inside there, and there you go. We're done with page number five. All right, I'll be back with page number six.